hello guys welcome back in this react chess video tutorial we are going to learn how we can uh, use the redux in react chess and we will create a very simple example and a complete flow so that you can understand how redux is going to work and the structure of redux and uh, you will see that how the probes are going to pass through one component to another component also so let's get start and uh, before that if you want to know how it's going to work in uh, detail then you can watch our uh, previous video and the link of this video is given in the description box also so let's get start with this video okay so in this video uh, we have to create three more files to connect the uh, redux and this is a it's the simplest way uh, actually we need uh, around five or six file if we are going to connect a uh, very uh, very uh, best practice we can say that if we are if we want uh, best practice with the redux then we have to create the six and five or six files but uh, we are doing it uh, with a very simple way that's why we are going to create only three files uh, and in the next video uh, after that we will learn how we can connect the api through the redux so let's get start so here you can see that uh, we have to create the action file, reducer files and container files. So with that, so you have to do uh, and you have to write the minimum code so that I'm going to open the Redux official website so that we can catch the code from here and understand it. So this is the uh, official website of Redux and I'm directly going to the action here this is a to do action i am not going to follow this uh, example properly i am going to make it more simpler for you so first of all this uh, this is we have to go on the entry point and add these files so we need uh, what we have to need we need a reducer we need a redux we need a provider that's it for now we have to import three files just go to the index file all right so i catch these three files and now we need a uh, root reducer also i'll tell you that what is the root reducer root reducer is the things where we uh, combine all the reducers in a single file so i'll tell you what is the reducers uh, if you don't going to confuse about it all right so these we import these files so i have uh, if you do not uh, uh, install the redx then you can install by this command only so just i'm going to stop this one and you can install the react redx npm install i already installed that's why so i don't need that just uh, just run out this command all right so now uh, now you can see that in the basically the app is directly uh, rendered in the uh, react dom but now we have to use a provider so just copy this provider from here and what is provider will going to do this provider will pass all the data in the stores that we need in the redux so uh, the data of redux will be flow inside the app like like if you have the two or three component that uh, in some component you don't want to pass data through the app then you can take it outside from this provider and if you pass the data in the component you can pass you can took it in the uh, providers inside all right so after that just create action file action dot js file here you can see that action dot uh, js file and after that uh, maybe they they have the many actions but we will have only single action that's why i'm going to create us only single file actions.php and i'm not going to create a folder like this because it's it's a little bit complex process but if if we are on the uh, learning process we will going through the very simple process so just create one file with the action dot js all right just create one more file reducer mm, 
.js. All right. Just create final one file container. .js. All right. So all files are ready now. So now first of all, I'm going to with the container. All right. Just uh, find out the container here. Uh, where is container? Yes, here is container. So just copy this code. And all right. So I think I misspelled the container here. All right. So now we need a re React reducer in here. Now we need the action file. So we have action on the same folder. So correct the path of here. Uh, we do not have uh, to do files. So we have the app file for the component. Here you can see that we have a app file with the click and you are able to see this here. Oops, it's due to the index container that's going to failure. So just, just see that this is the app file. So I have to import the app here just close for the other things for now so i'm going to import the app and this is located in the same folder that's why i just use app all right uh, we don't need the this action already because we are going to use a single action here so remove this one function we don't need this function also all right so use you can remove this one so here you can see that the two functions uh, just write here state for now so here you can see that two functions map state to the props and map dispatch to the props what actually going to do from the app I'm going to click on function just write a click on click and right here uh for now just you can pass the this dot props dot add what's the name of this one mm, just make some take some simple example from the actions i think this is little bit complex uh this is action so use the add to do we can add here so import uh, we will make a file where the action and from there from which file we are going to import the to do functions all right so from here i am going to call a to do function and this file going through the container from here the app is uh, imported here that means this is also imported here after that this function will call like this in the uh, map dispatch to probes this function haven't let it have id or it have nothing like we are going to know. let's pass it blank we have nothing to pass here so this function will send the data here and dispatch to the action and what we will do in the action i'll tell you later and this state will uh, work with the reducer and when the we get the data through the reducer in this state we will pass through the to do's and we will get where we want to get in the all application all right so don't be confused if you are not going to understand i'll explain you everything uh, once more and uh, after uh, the code you will easily understand these things so we make the container we make the um, our component this is app to just now just go the action dot so come here with the action and just copy the first function we don't need to copy all these things because these are the single sing, single functions so just do it and now you can see that just pass the blank function add to do so here you can see that in the id uh, you can pass three plus seven all right so here what we will do we will pass the type that means 
what kind of function is this so this is the add kind of function or you can say that the what function it will do and this will do the uh, addition all right and in the id you can see that 3 plus 5 or you can pass the data whatever you want to here so we pass the 7 data in this here so let's take the once again from the app.js file we call a function and uh, call the prop from here which is the add to do data and this is imported in the container and in the container uh, where we have the two functions and in the map dispatch to props this function will dispatch our uh, data to the action and in the now action we got this one so we got here uh, addition yes we got here addition only and 3 plus 7 so our three files are complete now just we have to complete one more file which is the producer all right so after that mm, just go to the reducer and create this file copy this one paste in the cons in this file so i'm going to clear these spaces because this they give the unwanted character sometime when i'm going to use it when i'm when we just copy this copy and paste this all right after this process, let's go to once again back so this is the another case so we don't need this one so here you can see that uh, we can make it simple more simple so just remove the both of them So now let's take once again in the whole path. You call the function to do from here. You will catch this function into the action because of import file. And this function will going to dispatch to the action. In the action, you will perform some actions. You are doing the addition and the type of function is add to do. All right. That if you have one more function, then uh, it can be here like Mm. Mul to do it will it will going to multiply so but now we have only one function which is the add type all right so now in the contain uh, all right just come to the action now and after that this data will going to the reducer and here reducer will check this is this case is the add to do it will always match with this type so it will check that uh, the action dot type is add to do if yes it will it will pass the data again and now this data will come again in the container through this state and now state dot id because we are going to import id from reducer here and it will come here and now we can access this state anywhere like uh, we can access it Oops, just console here. Console dot one. Check data, and you can write this dot props. And what is this props? To do's dot to do. All right. So now just uh, check the here. What's kind of error is now everything is completed now we have to just bug fixing here so let's see so we got an error in line number 12 in the action so here it's saying that we have to import all these things before constant or doing some other things so after this this error will going through from here mm -mm, not going Just remove the spaces. 
Uh, oops, I have to start the NPM actually. I didn't start this. That's my bad. All right, so reducer is not find. In, all right, so we actually have to do one more thing. This is not reducer in our case. This is a reduce. All right. So now in the app, we have to uh, import it from the container. Why? Because app function is com come here and after that we have to complete these two functions and these two functions are connected with this and now we have to import this and we have to pass the app here all right so let's check so check data we got the 10 here What's the issue? It's not calling again. Yep, it's not calling again. Uh, let's come here back. So that it should be 10. Let's check. Yes, 3 plus 5, it should be 10. So if I'm going to pass it like this, and now you can see that we go to 13 here. Come back here. So now you will think what is the use of this is it how we have to use it so you can use like simply this so you can uh, call the api on the login screen and like you fetch the name and date of birth and some data more and you have to use them in another screen then you have to just call this file on the another screen and you can easily call this and you can easily uh, get the data here because now this dot props dot to do is universal that's why we use the redx and if you want to understand why why we have to use it uh, in the detail you can watch our previous video and link is given in the description and next video we will learn how to call an api and handle the async process so thanks guys thanks for watching and if you have any kind of confusion then you can ask me in the comment box and i will be definitely respond to you and if you need a uh, some special kind of video on red x react any any kind of uh, logical or uh, learning tutorial you can ask me in the comment box thanks guys thanks for watching this video